Welcome back to our YouTube channel. Anthropic recently launched Cloud2, an AI assistant that is out to compete with OpenAI's ChatGPT4. I will be showing you examples of prompts and responses for both to help you determine which one is better suited for your needs. As you can see, I'm currently using ChatGPT 3.5 as ChatGPT4 requires you to upgrade for $20, which I'm not doing. So instead, I will use tools like PoE, Forefront AI that allow you to access GPT-4 for free, however limited they may be. I will leave a link in the description below on the video I did on these tools. Right out the gate, we know that chat GPT-4 is limited to 25,000 words, while Claude 2 boasts of three times more with a 75,000 word limit. If I try to copy and paste my thesis of around 90 pages, we see chat GPT gives us this error, that the message submitted is too long. However, on Claude, if I paste the same content, you notice it converts it fast to a TXT file, which is cool. Then if I say summarize the thesis, we see it quickly summarizes the document with six key points covering the aim, motivation, stroke, problem statement, methodology, results, and gives a summary. Imagine how easy it is if you have long reports that you need insights on and Claude can do that for you in seconds. Also. Users can now input up to 100,000 tokens per prompt compared to 32,000 on GPT-4. Claude easily summarizes my 90-page thesis into six concise bullet points. ChatGPT, on the other hand, hits the character limit and asks me to be more specific. This point goes to Claude. Another feature that comes with the all-new Claude 2 is it natively allows you to upload a maximum of five files, each at 10 MB, and supports different file formats from PDF, DOC, txt and csv say for example you take these four documents and you upload them then ask for a summary it quickly looks through the documents and gives you a summary of the documents this is a powerful way to get insights on multiple documents you can even ask it follow-up questions include additional documents for it to consider or even highlight the differences and similarities in the documents the applications are limitless ChatGPT models don't offer this feature natively. You need to copy paste content or use plugins. Claude is more versatile here. Next, we'll do a simple prompt for writing an email, something that you probably do at least once a day. We'll say, write an email to send to a coworker asking for the requirements for the implementation and rollout of a new ERP system. It will generate a draft with a subject, starts off with a reason for reaching out, then the request that is to provide critical functionalities, reporting and workflow needs. Then gives a reason for why you need the information together with a timeline for the response as the end of the next week. This is something you can build upon or even send as is depending on your needs. Switching over to ChatGPT, we enter the same prompt and ChatGPT has a different way of structure which is more numbered and breaks down the requirements to eight line items from functional requirements, integration needs, data migration to project timelines and vendor selection. This is a more detailed approach. You will notice Claude 2 is more precise and summarized in its responses, while ChatGPT tends to give a lot more, especially in the creative side. Let's try the same prompt in GPT-4, and as you can see, it gives a similar response to GPT-3.5. For writing everyday emails, Claude's responses are more direct and to the point. GPT-4 tends to be more detailed and lengthier. Personally prefer Claude's summarized approach for quick emails. Next, we'll do a decision-making prompt. I want to buy a new laptop between a MacBook, Lenovo, or HP. I'll ask it to compare them and recommend the best value for my money with a budget of 1000 and add that I will be using it for YouTube content creation and running my business online. And as you can see, Claude gives a breakdown of the results, including the projected cost. Remember, unlike ChatGPT, where the information is cut off in September 2021, Claude has been trained with the data until early 2023. So even without internet access, it can still produce meaningful results. Claude compares the three options with pros, cons, and prices, and it gives a clear verdict on the best choice and why. Moving to ChatGPT and entering the same prompt, it gives a generic response without giving a verdict, but rather suggesting that we consider a mid-range Lenovo, but nothing too specific. And to remember to check reviews and compare specifications, which is good advice, though ironically, it's what I expected it to do for me. Perhaps it's because it doesn't have internet access. So let's enable it and maybe the prompt will perform better. 
we see it browses the internet again and gives a detailed analysis and this time round recommends HP and V16, which it says starts at $1,399, which is beyond our budget. If we check the previous prompt I had done earlier, it went ahead and gave me a detailed analysis as you can see. However, it chose to switch Lenovo with Asus, which was not even part of the prompt and still did not give a clear choice. I had also tried the same prompt earlier with Claude, and it, as you can see, this time round it recommended Lenovo X1 Carbon as the best choice. What I like about Claude is that it gives the cost and specs and in a summarized version, as well as justification on why I should choose the Lenovo. If we check GPT-4, this gives similar results to Claude 2 with three options and advices if we can stretch the budget, a MacBook would be a good option and recommends the Lenovo for the best value. Remember, this is limited to September 2021. Let's enable the internet access and then edit and send the prompt again and see what we get. This time around, we see it changes the Lenovo to a 2023 model, which it goes ahead to recommend as the best option and again points out that if I will be heavily video editing for YouTube content, the MacBook would be a better choice. Again, we notice GPT-4 is not decisive like Claude 2. Claude is better for decision making. Let's now do a prompt on brainstorming tweets to help promote my prompt generation guide on my YouTube channel. They should be catchy and click worthy while conveying real value to the reader. The topic is writing powerful prompts to get better results with ChatGPT and Claude 2. Here we see Claude gives us five simple tweet ideas that we can use. Let us compare with ChatGPT 3.5. As per usual, ChatGPT GPT gives us 10 tweet ideas, but this time round with emojis, though I feel there are too many emojis. It also gives us a nice takeaway on what is important when crafting tweets for promotion. Next, we run the same prompt on GPT-4 and it gives us 5 tweets which includes hashtags and emojis. These appear to be better than GPT-3.5. Let's go back to Claude and follow up to add emojis and let's see what we get. We see the tweets are now a bit better, though not as good as GPT-4. For brainstorming hooks and titles, both Claude and GPT-4 perform similarly when giving good prompts. Claude's responses are a bit more templated, while GPT-4 is more freeform. I'd say on this one, ChatGPT-4 has the edge as it gives better tweets with hashtags and emojis on default. Moving to automating workflows at work, we have this prompt to create an automation that takes information from Google Sheets and schedules content automatically for clients. It takes the info provided in the spreadsheet, copy and pastes it to the scheduler tool before scheduling for specific dates and time. We see Claude gives a high level answer on the steps that you can take. The same prompt on GPT 3.5 gives a more detailed response than Claude but still high level then, when we run the same prompt on GPT-4, it provides the detailed response and even includes a Python script. For technical details, GPT-4 is better. That said, Cloud 2 shines when it comes to following instructions precisely. For certain programming and code generation tasks, early tests show Cloud sticks to specs better versus chat GPT's tendency to get creative. Our next prompt will be to write a blog for my website that will help people understand the value of buying my YouTube content creation guide. We see it gives us a title, why should you buy my YouTube guide, then a short intro to give context, then the body in point form, covering why me, the process, the benefits, and a conclusion. Remember, you can always build on the results by modifying the prompt. Let's see what GPT-4 will show us. It starts off with a more catchy title and generates a creative blog with a nice intro and structure that is user-focused. Running the same prompt on chat GPT 3.5, we get similar results to GPT-4. We observe that Claude's draft is shorter and more precise. When it comes to creative writing, chat GPT is ahead of the game. It produces substantially longer poems, stories, and content from a single prompt compared to Claude 2. Therefore, gives chat GPT the edge. Finally, Let's talk strategy. Our prompt will be on a small business that sells car accessories and device, a cost-effective marketing strategy to increase brand awareness and boost online sales. Cloud 2 gives the results in bullet point form per usual. Notice it does not do it in the form that ChatGPT does by giving a small title then expanding on it, which actually I like as it makes it easier to read quickly through a document, but rather gives statements. Though, still good points like engaging blogs on website, focused on DIY car projects, 
run contests and giveaways on social media, user influencer marketing, sponsor local shows, and more DIYs this time on tutorials, running promotions, partners with brands, and optimize your website on online store for SEO and boost sales. Running the same prompt on GPT-4, we see it categorizes each point in a way that we can easily read through. It still covers similar points as Claude 2 and also adds email marketing, paid ads, customer reviews and customer service. As usual, GPT likes to do things in turns. Let's see what GPT 3.5 gives us. Unlike the other two, it starts with identifying the target audience, which is the most important step before implementing a marketing strategy. It goes on to end with tracking and analyzing results to make necessary adjustments and finishes off with consistency and patience as a key takeaway. So, to summarize, Claude has a beautiful user interface and excels at summarization, large document handling, email writing, and decision making. GPT-4, on the other hand, is better for technical details and long form or creative writing. For almost everyday business uses, Claude's concise answers provide more value. But GPT-4's creativity is hard to beat for writing. Choose the AI that suits your needs. Or better yet, leverage the two tools to boost your productivity and get the best of both worlds. As users seek cheaper alternatives to chat GPT-4, Claude's tools, budget-friendly and remarkable feature set makes it an exciting option. One thing's for sure, competition breeds innovation. A true competitor for OpenAI is here and might finally make OpenAI drop its prices and come to the ground to compete. Remember, at the time of recording this video, Claude 2 is free and currently only available in the US and UK. But if you still want early access, you can use VPN. Thanks for watching and see you on the next one.